guys, not gonna keep them all together. Come on, mate, get yourself up for a whistle. Must be the idea. Yeah, it's had some weekend, didn't it? <laughs> be a cracker. Some weekend across the board, boys. Oh, what's wrong, you tatsy bastard? <laughs> it's been a bad I'm one. I'm not talking about he's battling. To, to be fair, he's got a school trip today, so that is good. Uh, no, he's delivering, he's he's delivering my package he's after the show. We'll have, we'll have to soft play the day. <laughs> That's your nice wee man. No. <laughs> what colour would you say that was? Really baggy, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> you believe in that? I was sick the day. Can you actually see my nipples there? Oh, you got it. By the way. Led Kandora to a 4-3 victory at the weekend. Ah, I same. guess a team that are undefeated. I never, I'm only finding this out now. They've never been... They've never That's, been why yeah. uh, That's why you didn't turn up. That's why you tried to. I know, he, he helped us out Saturday with the other boys, so... Uh, By the way, what a team. Do you know what's funny though? Mate, do home. you know what? It was actually a fucking pleasure to coach him. Aye, good. Brilliant, man. See, yeah, he, he just said before you turned up, he said, we've won 9-0, 8-0, 7-0. It was a wee kid 4-3. Mate, we were 3-1 up cruising then. Can I see the results? This is the thing. Oh, you're not allowed to see the results. Oh, you're not? No, because no, it's just, it is fun. Oh, can hell. I know. <laughs> it is, it's, that's uh, a good thing in Scotland. That's oh, a great initiative, isn't it? I can't talk about it as all time. Listen, Bridge End, can't be happy. Bridge End, they've done well, to be fair to Bridge End. They're a good team, mate. They are, actually, because I always like to give our teams a bit of credit. The goalie was really good. Was he, aye? Yeah, really good. How did uh, Harry play for Selic? No, it was Danny. Danny. Danny, I started Danny, nervous, Danny, Danny, Danny. Danny. He heard he started nervous. <laughs> he did, was nervous, I. Was he nervous? He, done well. he doesn't know any of the boys. So uh, he's been training with the goalkeeper through the week at Tony Glenn and then asked if he'd come in on Sunday. And I thought he did all right. I think, in terms of what they've got there, he's equal as good. Just needs to work on things. He's uh, eight years old, you know what I mean? I've so. been told he'll not be back. <laughs> uh, at least you had a good weekend, that. At least he tried it, didn't he? How's your weekend, me, boss? <laughs> no, quite, quite. Sacks, no, it was the two you were okay. saying. Aye, come on, tell us. By the way, we're at the wonderful Chateau X today. Oh, what a place. But Nathan no after it just didn't break. I know, the two emails as they do. You you pack pack two go, sh- shite bags to tell us to my face, the email did not <laughs> Who the fuck emails you to tell you that? So why don't we just go up the stairs and get to something coming? else? <laughs> he texts Gordon Smith saying he's a marketing manager for the open goal. Would you be interested to the podcast tomorrow at Chateau X? <laughs> <laughs> you know right so last night I was sitting and I'm going like, I'm going to phone in sick tomorrow morning so I'm not there and then Gordon Smith turns up <laughs> so then, then I woke up this morning and messaged him and that imagine Gordon Smith turned up with that zip around <laughs> but I messaged Gordon Smith for day saying uh, listen mix up we'll get you on next Monday so you'll be here next Monday there you oh, go good. by the way big news we've got the itinerary through for the say like Liverpool game aye incredible mate is it? I've not had an update Friday for a while, you right? go down right. for a free course meal and then uh, there's like a party type thing for all the players and family doing the they're get, working class you, that you get your tracker you get new trainers you get boots you get flip flops oh wow Saturday new North Face you got new North Face <laughs> <No. laughs> <laughs> you're like no <laughs> <laughs> Saturday mate you wake up <laughs> breakfast uh, families can do whatever they like There's, there'll be things happening and then you play the game families three three, uh, three tickets you get for the game hospitality your family which I would think your mum and your dad would have loved but uh, you go that and then you go back to the the Hilton in Liverpool and it's a big massive gala wow. ball at, at night with all the legends going there seems so, like you know a lot of hangs out for free if it's charity <laughs> <laughs> And then Sunday you get to go back to Anfield if you wish with the family to do the tour and you do that. Mate, just do that. Are you going? I think I'll do it. Uh, oh, yeah. I, you may as well do it when you're. I'm like genuinely doing it this weekend. Gerard was confirmed uh, Friday as well to play. Wow. Well, he's still be... looking for players. Are they? Genuinely, the guy texted saying, "Do you know anybody that would be interested in playing?" <laughs> Did you say <laughs> Niall McGinn's playing? Part of the phone day. Did he say what about Niall McGinn? <laughs> Charlie Grant. <laughs> So somebody said somebody <laughs> sent him a message and says we got Paul Slane and Adam Virgo. Fit <laughs> for Adam Virgo. <laughs> oh. You know he said to me, he was like, I only want to play for five minutes this past year, so I'm actually a legend. I said they go on. Do you know what? See when I got around, somebody sent me the Facebook comments with the team and wait, about twenty of the comments with who the fuck Cy Cy Ferry. Brother Wolf, Brother Wolf is spinning in his grave the fact that I'm playing in this game and that. You need to get a mullet back. <laughs> <laughs> so who is actually he's an updated uh, squad list because I don't actually know about the big dad big Charlie's meant to play but he's done his hammy so um, I think it's just all the usual faces isn't it is it Larson Peter. Paul Gunn is he Peter no Larson no no no, no. Yeah. but Paul Lambert's the manager Peter hey. Gunn hey have you ever seen Larry Plain now I don't know if Lenny, no I don't think Lenny is playing no, no. Bruni's playing I think Bruni's playing is uh, Lustig's playing uh-huh. that's my team <laughs> Strange, strange, I think you get a late call up. Oh, so I'll be at Friday. We're going down Canada. Looking forward to it. What, what, what you did at the weekend, wee man? 
Oh, you're up to the weekend, you man. <laughs> I'm coming to the next bit. I'm going to take Is that you. this weekend? This weekend. Uh, Superb. Can't wait. Once in a lifetime, man. So, you've got to tell me. Monday's podcast at this point. So, you got to tell me at so you, so you so you some point this week that Jude Kenny makes out of this game. That's right, you can't. We're going down Friday night. Ah, so he's not well again. Right, someone up there, I could be high on the beta side. Have you ever seen World War Z with Brad Pitt? Uh, no, is it good? You ever seen his? Uh, you look like Brad Pitt with that one. <laughs> no. <laughs> Brad Shit, remember that dancer? Brad Shit. Jim Jordan. Good film. Me look Brad Shit, mate. Rubbish. Here, eh. What are you going to say this? World War Z, have you ever seen who the extra is in it? It's that runaway for the. Gordon Smith. <laughs> he didn't make it, he was in it, but he didn't become. Bobby Pitter. What is he? No word to lie. I'll, I'll <laughs> check World War Z and Jock's his memory found in Josh Square. He's running a line, Josh Square. Maybe that, a bit about movies, yeah. I think if you look close enough, you'll see Gordon Smith walking in the West End at that point. <laughs> <laughs> great guy, isn't he? But uh, no, he's great as Grovner Sport. He wants to, no, to take it out. Double, it's, it's always amazing. Double the odds for new sign ups with your first £10 bet. Sign up at gsport.com forward slash open goal. Class day goes down to Cheltenham, isn't it? Uh, it was good. Then, that was uh, well, uh, see, after the defeat, what do you, uh, do you sit in the house Saturday night? It was that, a, a bad weekend, mate. Low. It's the worst. I know I said this, but in Motherwell again, I can't wait to go back. It's comfortably the worst we've played since I've been at the club. Terrible. Three crosses in the box, aren't it? The three goals. I know. Uh, you're defending it. Just you're like defending. even eat the, the whole thing, but then you look. Maybe it's just one of the days. I know you've not been playing great, but maybe. If you thought that was like, bad, mate. There was a fucking massacre at Gretna. I know how you feel, mate. Uh, bad. Uh. Aye. Mate, do you know what? I actually had to go so for a walk. See after the dressing room. I had to go for see after I'd spoke to the boys in the dressing room. <laughs> I had to go, I just, I just went out and went, for, went and sat on a bench in fucking middle of Gretna somewhere. So I walked, started green. No, I mean, I, that's what I said to my asses, I could fucking burst into tears. So when you start in a bus stop? You get, you get one or two that don't turn up, that happens some weeks, but was, when it's quite a few, you wonder how that happens, eh? Six goal thriller. Yeah, absolutely thriller. shite, no. Uh-huh. But tough, mate, I like what it does to you, it's crazy, man. Aye. 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 Like, I, I'm old, I can't even do it Saturday for the team and, I'm sitting here trying to get live updates on the score, like nervous for a fucking nine-year-old game of football. Do you know what I mean? It's that's a bit much. Because <laughs> 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 I care. No, that I, I I care. was the only thing. I don't think any other what environment does it when you when you do when it's amazing. But I sometimes think the lows are, are worse than oh, highs. Mm. See when we see that team, man. your team, we were running three one. It went for each, and I was standing on the side, and my heart started pounding. I was like, I kind of win. I don't think I'll ever win a game of football again. <laughs> It's like, I was I was like, what the fuck, Who's man? Who was talking to Saturday? Tommy McIntyre? Uh, Tommy McIntyre. He's right. asking for you. Right? Oh, he's good, yeah. He's in a good partner, isn't he? Ah, and he, they phoned me because we were. Uh, I took that team, but the game was 11 to 12. Oh, amazing. We had to leave at 12. So Dell phoned me, and obviously I need to answer it in case it's someone with the boy. I said, Dell, I'm not going to be available for the next tour, but if there's any emergency phone is. So Dell phone, phones me, and I'm watching this game, so I'm like, Dell, what's happening? And then the other coach gives a decision against our boys, it's not, and I'm like, I'm, 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 I'm
So we're in a good playing well for the second half, but 3 0 down, I mean, it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. A- anyone can play well when they're 3 0 down or 3 0 up, if you ask me. So, mm. I think it's worse when they, like, the three goals that they've scored are easily avoidable. Yeah. Like, the wee strike on the park, out jumping your centre half. They were kind of a kid, he's kid. a good player. Hey, Jake. Aye. He's a good player. Aberdeen. And yeah, then good. the diving header at the back post that should be defended better. Yeah. And then, um, but. I don't know, it hurts. We've all had days like that though, haven't we? Ah, I've still, I've still got, I've still got a lot of confidence. How does he do video? Does he, does he do individual clips or is it merged the team? Nah, it is mere team, but if he, he, he'll pick out an individual in the clip if, if it's a glaring mistake. Mm. Uh, I'd imagine there'll be fucking plenty of clips going in. Did you know Peter? Do you get on? 35 seconds or something. Yeah. Cracking. Can no, it was, uh, Smudge got um, concussion. Gunsmith, did he? You are right. Smudge. Right. I heard right. Robbie saying the radio that he's got his stew for two weeks now because there's not a game for two weeks. Uh, I think it's probably came at a good time for Hearts because they've had Celtic pitch. back to back. Aberdeen away is never an easy game regardless of how yeah. you think Aberdeen. But listen, we're talking about Hearts credit is Aberdeen. They Barry Robson, been. the job he's doing by the He's fucking flying, isn't he? I spoke, didn't I spoke? Oh, I made a date yesterday. <laughs> Fucking did. Went to uh, went to Bizano with the, Lynn and the boys. You're all right, eh? And this guy caught to me and went, Hi, Kevin, nice to see you. I was like, Oh, how you doing? He says, You're, you're not. I was like, I knew who he was. But I fucking I forgot his was, name, nothing must have. Uh, mate, I thought it was Johnny. I thought it was Johnny Sunderland. It was fucking Lee McLeod. Oh, they're calling I, I says, I was telling the boys it's Johnny Sunderland. He says, No, no, that's the other one. I'm like, Oh, that's the worst. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> that's the worst. Oh, yeah, I my called God. Him I called him. I called him John, Johnny Sunderland. And it's it's fucking what was the feeling after it? I was, like, to him still. I was like, I've seen the boys, I thought it was Johnny Sundown, but it's Lee McLeod trying to kind of like give myself back up. But he yeah. was really sound. He's a big Aberdeen fan. That's right. And he said that he sees a big, massive uh, Difference. turn in their performances. So I don't know. I think Hearts are on a wobble. Do you know who's a hero by the way? I forgot to mention it when we were at that Brian Mull with the manager of the month. Uh, big Luke Shanley. Oh, was he? Aye. Hero, mate. Aye, he's, he's a really good, good guy. He's aye. a good guy, mate. Uh-huh. I know. That was he was sound, by the way, but oh, fuck me. Dick called him Johnny Sundown. <laughs> That's brilliant, isn't it? Uh, right, we'll start with Motherwell Rangers. You want you to get a few things off your ch- ginger hairy chest? Aye, that's it. I mean, that. <laughs> what they're, whoever the fuck's making that line up. What's <laughs> happening for the park with the lines? <laughs> what Aye. the fuck is going on there, mate? Seriously, though. It's, I think they're both offside, eh? You're staring, at the, you're staring at a player who's offside and there's a line. Tell me he's offside and they're still giving the goal. Aye. Whoever's drawing the lines is whoever's drawing the lines is holding a dildo or something. It's, it's his dildo, I'm not doing the lines. It's calling it that. <laughs> drawing it down the line like that. I bet you would eat, you wouldn't even mind if it was a dildo doing it. <laughs> no. <laughs> you wouldn't even mind no, if it was a Because then you would go like well the dildo fucked that up. <laughs> <laughs> but you're watching it and the rats in the line bang on you and you're like uh, you can see you're offside. The dildo, was, outside. The dildo was doing its job, eh? Fucked it. <laughs> I don't, I don't, do you know what though? It, it, Kettlewell was right when it after the game and he seen it was two each. You're up his ass now, man. <laughs> no, no, no. Aye, I, but it, it, it's two each and, and it, it looks like, even, I mean, do you know what, Andy? I think you're. I think you're, you're the you're Motherwell right. one. I mean, even in the look, motor, right? it looked offside. Like that's offside. I think when you see maybe Jim hands, Jim those fat fingers with right? it. He's going to see it, right? <laughs> You could maybe you're seeing that line with that. But with, with the with Golshin, maybe that with that first one did Golshin get there, but it did look I was like, certainly the the, the one with Sakal, you're like, my word. I know. What are they do? I don't I, But mean, remember at Fur Park certainly we got an offside that was filmed for the training run? Dale Park. Park head. <laughs> Dale Park doing it. Right, the far corner flag one at the angle. No, but I, I, I can it so, so I was watching sports scene and and they, 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 they see it and then that's it done. I know. why? What why is that happening? Mm-hmm. Who, how can somebody know see that that's offside? There was some, but there was some mental decisions that we can. What was stranger that one or the Kelly one? The Kelly one. Ah, bad. The, 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 Kelly, the Kelly handball. What's uh-huh. the best of That's why they made the same decision. Somebody's fucking hit the boy, and he's just went. It's not even hands, not even up. He's just standing there and it's hitting there. And he's went handball. How's that handball? Aye, and then Andy Considine slaps the ball in the corner. <laughs> more up here, but doesn't get a penalty. He thought that was somebody's ass, didn't he? That's why he slapped it. <laughs> it's mental that, but in it, we were saying it. Val's actually. It's making it harder or worse for the refs. Uh-huh. Or they're, 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 it's making, they're doing a worse job. They're relying on it and they're hoping that the bar gets it right instead of them just making the decision. decision. How are Rangers worth three points? Me only seen first the first half. Was, there, first half was quite scrappy, wasn't it? Yeah. Motherwell actually played well. The boy you were talking about, the boy hey. right back, Johnson, hey. was a good player. Told you, didn't I? Who? So you can see a player. I can't see a player. I think you're where? seeing things, but I think you're starting to take the second half 28 shots. Rangers had, nah, Rangers had were over, half. over 30 against Tibbs. I think we, we, when Bills now came stats, Paul. no bad. And then since Bills came in, I think you're now starting to see why he came in and the reasons why he came in. What? 
No, but you see, you're starting to see Beals still a play now, I think. Um, but certainly the full back's bombing on. Kent's dropped into the wee areas. And it's, I mean, he's 4 4 2 diamond as well. Mm-hmm. Is that what he played? A 4 4 2 diamond? Had that played at Easter Road as well. Uh, that's what they played at Tincastle when we played them. But Kent's so good, isn't he? he what does he play at 10? He goes everywhere. Aye, but Aye. he sort of roams a bit. Uh, Playing a midfield diamond, Messi, when you're one of the two side ones. Oh, you don't know where you are, don't you know? You don't know where you are. He's got the full back. Oh, it's brutal, mate. Uh, Outside the diamond. I tell you what, though. You you dominate the ball, didn't you, if you're playing that? Aye. But a lot of it is like focusing on like sort of close combinations, everything through the centre of the pitch. Like Sonny says, you need to make sure that you've got width for your full backs. But Campbell surprised me big time. I know we spoke about Raskin quite a bit, but. because he's definitely improved Rangers in midfield since he's played but obviously didn't play at the weekend I think Campbell over the last sort of two or three games because I was like I don't know if he was with the same but you thought of Campbell when he was down south it was like you know, technical sort of yeah. floats about yeah. in the game drifts but he actually works his nuts off didn't he ah, he's and really he's like great. quite a lot of the time at the game at the weekend the second half he was the actual trigger for, for Rangers press when the possession to win the ball back and then right obviously there, gets his Gets his first goal as well. The legs he's got are brilliant. The energy he's brought to Rangers. That's what they needed. They were too, for, for, for too long, they were like, it was sideways, it was too slow. He's certainly one of the players that's, that's changed that. I don't think, uh, even though we can watch bits of the game, I don't think uh, Kolach was great. So, in terms of like, Morelos come on, he was a bit more effective. Is he better as a one Kolach than an. I don't know. I don't know what. I don't know. I don't, I'm not. Obviously, he's goal. He scored goals, but I just I think it's outside the box. I don't think he's great. Yeah. Probably the, the one he didn't play across the second half. Oh, well, what is it then? But is it, I think stuff like that as uh, is, is a coach or a manager would annoy me more than anything. Right. Uh, it's so silly. When somebody's got a tap in at the edge of the six yard box, you try and shoot for an And the shot that, he hit was horrendous. Aye. Just be, just be unselfish and give it to your teammate and take the glory for having maybe an assist or something. But, what but does he need to be a good outside the box, Kevin? They've not got enough players that can do that. Oh. Look at Kyogo, he, he doesn't really touch the ball outside the box. Oh, true. But I actually think last week as well was Choak's best performance for him. Aye, last week was. Against Hibs. Mm. And then obviously. But I think if so Morelos doesn't stay, they'll, 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 I think they'll dip out the market for another striker. But so see, see in terms of Raskin and Cantwell, would you say that they were Michael Beale signings? Aye. Aye. So you know, I want to give Ross Wilson credit for it and I just want to slaughter them in their bad. No, listen, I'll give him credit to Juice, aye. 100%. Um, but then... No, I think definitely though. Beale. That's on Beale. I, I, I think the majority of players that will come into Rangers now will be Michael Beale's. Nah, I, I think 100%. It's got to be in it. 100%. I think with the Raskin one, Michael Beale, he, he, he almost said as much in a, in a press conference how like, he's had his eye on him since Aye. they played uh, Standard Liège in the, the Europa League a couple of years ago. Uh, Campbell, quite possibly, but. Summer I'm sorry, the fact that it. these two first ones have went down so well, they will probably will give him more freedom to go on. Definitely. Take who he likes. Well, they will. I never have seen enough of the game. Bad, bad free kick to be given away at that. That's not a red card for me either. No, no, the, no, definitely not. No, the second year, that's not a red. He's just trying to do what everybody does and you get your hands up, back in, accidentally caught him in the cheek. It's not a red card, definitely not. But they've, they, they, Motherwell have they've improved massively under Stuart Kettlewell, to be fair. Well, are they more organised, would you say? More organised. <laughs> I think they play with more energy. I know it sounds so basic, but certainly when they played against us I just felt there was a lot more front foot and even though they were direct they were still committing their bodies into the box and Aye. it just seems as if there was a bit of, and, and sometimes you do get that you know, everybody talks about the manager bouncing everybody sort of jumps up 10% but I do think definitely energy has been a, a big difference in their, in their performances you're speaking to him regularly aren't you mm. I, I thought know. he was good in that interview he was good he's really well. good I wasn't sure about him before that interview why, why are you saying that now why do you know tell well, see before it we were getting a pitch before five minutes before he's coming in and, and I was like, what have he said about I always do that when we get them up. What have, what have he said? So we're sitting there pissing outside the toilet. Where's the toilet? He's at the door there and we're at that side and I'm like, ah, I'm sure I said that he would inspire me to get my bed. I said that about him once. What, they heard you? No, I said that on a podcast years, years ago. Years before. Ah, but did he hear you when you were saying it in the toilet? I was whispering in his ear. Uh, that was scary. Why are you doing a pish? <laughs> but no, he he is he, he speaks really well. Him, I really liked him. Strathclyde like, places well. He done a push on the side of the motorway on Saturday. If you want to send a do you know what? Pitches. I swear to God, seeing Saturday night, but I can get my head. Time you're, you're still saying you still eat a maz. No, no, <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't get night. that address. Stay away from there, <laughs> mate. Do you know what? I keep thinking of Saturday night. You're Molly, mate. Do you know what it reminds me? But I be followed, <laughs> mate. <laughs> mate, <laughs> has Willie is exactly as I be followed, mate. I wouldn't use the standards to sleep. A button mushroom. He <laughs> 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 was mine's just right half it now. <laughs> I was sitting there with mine just on my horn there. Like, That's fucking tiny. 
Uh, You're having a storm of the day. Uh, he's yeah. back. Uh, mother will, we're, we're just focusing on podcasts. Watch Chris on media now. <laughs> uh, mother will be fine, won't they? Aye. Aye you should not go and do a couple of weeks ago. <laughs> I'm still in the, the fins with Kamarnik. Mate, Kamarnik, do you watch highlights? Aye. Kamarnik better than St Johnston. Aye, they were, aye, but. They were not, I think they were all games at home. Mm. Mm. I don't know. It's, uh, it's tight. It is tight. It is United, tight. I think. Saturday looking at that game, they had, they had chances, mm-hmm. especially one near the end when the boy is at Fothering and missed, and then the other Kai hit Fulham, the ball. And who was the other boy? Who's he, the one that. Morris hit? Malpass? No, fucking hell, I think it was. Um, Davy Bowman. <laughs> a big ugly boy at the back. <laughs> Charlie? You saved United? Just make up. You saved no. United? <laughs> when did you save United? Davy Dodds. <laughs> Thought you were a midfielder. <laughs> <laughs> See that ugly shit? He fucking goes right through you, that actually. He's an ugly bastard. That's the worst shit in the world, that. It's going to be that, that they split into the splits, the four games left of the split. I'd love to see you do the splits. Oh, yeah, I can do the splits. Right there. <laughs> <laughs> My fucking groin's off, I'm fucking getting nervous thinking about it. No chance. That's incredible. All right, Paul, what do you say to me, Hibs? Well, we need to get a fucking Take defi- it away, Paul. We need to get a thief into this one. I think the ref was absolutely bang on with it. You, you weren't sitting here like yes. Because, <laughs> uh, uh, by the way, since I've grown up, I can't remember the last time you were allowed to volley somebody to heat it. <laughs> I know, mate, again, sports team was very much. Oh, mate, Pius, I don't like that. Um, I can't kick somebody to heat, so he was right there. The first one's a yellow card. You can't go in with studs and stud the guy in the fit. And then the second one, obviously. I mean, the, the argument maybe puts you heat down. Awareness in the fit, which kind of turned involved something he does, I said. So. <laughs> yeah, well, I know he's joking, but what's your opinion? I think it's, I think it's a red card, mate. I think it's too yellow, isn't it? Like he said, you think it's a yellow? No, no, I don't know. No, I can't no, no, see there's a ball here. <laughs> <laughs> and he fills you in before he Can gets his hand in yeah. with that fucking strength he's got. And then as he's fallen, he sees the ball and he's just trying to kick it. He's trying to kick the ball. He's not trying to kick Carl. I know, but see, you, so put harsh, so you put your foot in and you get a nick to the ball first and somebody kicks your leg. That's still no, a boon. Nah, I don't think that's a boon. As soon as it's no intentional, maybe you kick somebody the ball. The ball. Like I know, but it's harsh. I mean, you don't think the boy, I think the boy made two, two fouls in the game he gets sent off. That's the laws of the game, don't I? I know, but. You're not yelling, you need to put your feet down. It's never. Nah, I'm not, I'm not giving it, nah. Nah? Nah, no chance. I, I think it's harsh. I think it's really I need, harsh. I need, I need, I need to know who you're hanging about with the last few weeks because you've changed. <laughs> you are talking some about a shite in this podcast in the Garden Referee decisions. What was it? Oh, Celtic's penalty? The bad one? It was a stonewall penalty, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> well, see, the, see the two penalty decisions? See, what is that? Mate? What is a penalty? Mate, I, see if you're angry. I got both penalties. Uh, so mate, see if you're angry, but... What is Starfield doing? Ten, mate. You're doing it to 10 men, why would you be pulling but, somebody's jersey? But it's not even if you've got to score. It's, three, it's, it's like a 3v1. But Hanlon's running to, out the box. But that's Starfield. He's, yeah, he's, yeah. he's, he's, he's trying to hold on to him. There's obviously questions about Starfield. I think he has improved massively through the early stages. Yeah, I think is. he has come into a good game, but there is still that part of his game where he's a bit rash sometimes. Mm. Sometimes instead of just letting it... Like, you've got to see the danger. There is no danger. Paul Hanlon's running away from goal and he's trying to pull him back. Even if he flicks it on, if, if he was to stop, and Paul Starfield get the second ball. So just sometimes just rash, desperate to win the ball all the time sometimes. And I think sometimes you can maybe just step off. But you, like you say, so you're 1-0. Why would you one, ever pull uh, somebody's shirt? I know, 1-0 down though. No. <laughs> I think there is an argument with people saying that like, sorry, both penalties, that's the, there's a lot of inconsistency yeah, uh, uh, around decisions like that. You don't always see them giving, you, you don't always see them no giving, but it doesn't matter. I think for me, although they're in the soft category, both of them are penalties. Penalties, I agree. I think the uh, fact that Celtic were um, were one 0 down and that opportunity came to give a penalty. Uh, what about uh, Jota's fit turn out a piece of shit when he went <laughs> a penalty? That was strange, wasn't it? That's back to me. You first. Somebody, that somebody put up and thing about if, if, if what is it? If David Martin or Craig Gordon and uh, Joe Hart were in goals for a penalty shoot, I think it would gone for them. <laughs> <laughs> Joe Hart is he never? Joe Hart just dives out. Did he even get close? Did he never save the pen before? I don't know if he Maybe has. Remember, he done him a belter, didn't he? That was amazing. Dinked that. Uh, dinked him a belter. Do you know what? You've got by the way, fair play, Hibs. They, they've came on. They, they've came on incredible. But I mean, he, he was talking about that Aberdeen game. He was going to get sacked, sacked to him. They get beat. And I he, hated I, that El Saki co part. Oh, that was crap. Part, it's, it's, but he was going to get sacked. No, you're part, right. Part, it, huh? oh, that was rubbish. But they, they've came on like but even that game on Saturday. I thought. Get out that foot. I mean, what? I think great performance that for Hibs. I'll get a mate for one. Yeah. Like that. <laughs> I suppose that's great. Actually, to be fair, what I will say is another example of Celtic 
<laughs> Maybe no being at their best in a certain game and they make five subs and they just change the game, change so game straight away. Two subs that five subs is a By the way, what about the body on your man? Holy oh my god. god. Oh. It actually does well. He does know. well for the corner. Big right. strong boy, isn't he? But who, who was marking him? Was it Hannon? I'm I not sure. I think it was Hannon. a midfield player. He shoved it and he did it now. Josh Campbell, Josh Campbell, it was. That's a mismatch, no? That's what I'm saying, mate. I went and seen it was Campbell. That's hard from Campbell. But what about some so the corners? I know, but who, well, Celtic like are quite a small team. Who, else, know, who else would be getting marked? No, Sarfield and Carter Vickers. All the corners, that's it. Celtic were winning every one of them. It was coming for your corner. Aye. Don't know what they were doing. What about, um, what about Kyogo's effort with the chest? Mate, see Kyogo, right? I couldn't believe on the highlights how many times the ball went wide and he's unmarked in the box. Yeah. Couldn't I, believe it, mate. I told you why. I know he stands in between the two centre backs. No, it's no, it's because he stands five yards out of the I know, but it's and so it, hard to mark. Surely teams must think when that ball goes wide, so, as a manager, surely you're saying somebody just, just stand on Kyogo. Yeah. But mate, honestly, it's like it, it, it's a hundred percent what they work on and playing against it last week, it is so hard to deal with. It? Honestly, it's so hard to deal with. If the ball's on the right hand side, you've got Kyogo ten yards offside here, and you've got Maeda or whoever's on the left hand side ten, uh, ten yards offside here. So as a back four or a back five, you don't want to drop because you're just sitting into your you're just sitting into your box. You're just sitting into your box and allowing them more space to play. But then what they do really well, I don't think ever gets talk, talked about enough because everyone talks about how they play good football, but they're always threatening them behind. And, uh, so it only takes that it. one movement where Kyogo sort of peels off the shoulder like obviously the equaliser they got against us at Celtic Park and it's just that one, one step in behind and made us 20 yards outside so you're never getting back uh -huh. you're never getting back uh -huh. to stop uh -huh. that cutback for a yeah. goal they've scored that goal without Mate, exaggerating time. 25 times this season uh -huh. easy and it's it, so it's, a, it's something they work on 100% uh, but I still think like watching Hibs when that ball goes wide I think you've got time for somebody just I don't think you've got enough time just somebody to attach himself to Kyogo now I know I, that, on that instance where he's chested it chested towards that, the goalie uh -huh. because that cross has been whipped in. Yeah. There's no came from an offside position in that instance. Yeah. Surely the two, the full, somebody that's got to think, get either close or mark him, just mark him, but he's got to header it and score. But well, what you do get, so. if you do that, then the, the wingers in is the second striker, isn't he? No. But difficult. What's, how, how do you stop? So what, I, what Andy's made, made a great point, how they do it. What would you do as a manager then to try and nullify it? Would you make them try and bring them inside the, 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 the wingers, make them come inside and play in the middle of the park? Mm. And, Stop the, the win. Have Celtic scored to go outside the box? Aye, they must have. Tumbles definitely scored. Tumbles scored. Tumbles scored. Aye, Tumbles scored. Aye, Tumbles scored. last two. Aye. aye. I'm talking about the shot. No, so it's, not big, it's a good point you make, actually. Aye. Oh, thanks very much, mate. No, no, but like, one thing you could do is you could <laughs> obviously continually drop, so aye, aye. You're, like, you're, they've not got the scope to play that one during the same cutback, but it's like I said, you're then sinking into your box just and it's so hard line. to get out after that. Stick everybody in the line, just keep jumping up and down. Just get the fella. Leaf in the box. <laughs> Follow <laughs> <Yeah>. leaf. <laughs> uh, fans locked out for the next set of Rangers. Old this needs to be resolved. This is disgusting. This is shite. Like, this is like football. It's just shite. I don't know how it's allowed to happen. Especially the better for who's, me. It's the who's biggest. deciding this? You're not allowed to do it. I don't know. In, in any world football, you're not allowed, you're, you're not allowed to do that. It's a league that decides away fans. So, how this has been allowed is beyond me. No, it's obviously because of back in the day that. Somebody reduced the numbers, so the other one reduced the numbers. No, but why is it went to 700 and nothing? No, no, no. I know, I bet. It is crap, it is crap. Seven like like you said, it, 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 we all feel, especially being here, that it's the biggest derby in the world, there's certainly one of them. And it's the main attraction of Scottish football. It's a game that's watched all around the world. And when you're watching it, the difference of nobody there, like nay na away fans there. Uh, the difference in atmosphere is, is, is See, there's definitely the fans are always no the same either. I know. They're the ones that bring the atmosphere. Oh, I always think the away fans. You should love watching the games that I brought. You the whole Celtic crowd behind one, and the same Rangers and the whole did the whole side and that end of the corner where there's now. What you see is seven or eight hundred sitting ducks at Ibrox and seven hundred eight sitting ducks at Parkhead. Sitting ducks. Thing is, a lot. That's what they are because <laughs> you think of them mate. tears. It's embarrassing. The way football is with fans. They're just standing there being pelted with all sorts, and it's the same as Parkhead. What it's crap for the players or not? The players, the players when they want that. Well, you played them both, didn't you? Why are guys that have never played football ruining fucking football, man? It should be, it should be 10%, 10 of your fans at, at least minimum to come in. So they'll sell it would get 5,000 um, in, in Ibrox and Rangers would get 6,000 in it, Parkhead. I know it's a bit, that should, that should just be a ruling place that says I'm up to I'm up to a maximum of 10%. No, it's you know, rubbish. It's about, that's one of the best views in world football that the, the both sets of fans. Financially, no team benefits, really, because whatever Rangers are selling... No, but I think Rangers, I think they, Rangers they, should get... The main store at Parkhead and Selick should get a club deck. <laughs> 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 no, but I think, did, did, did somebody say they don't, they don't lose money out of it because they're now selling season tickets at that area? 
which they never sold before. Four and a half. So right, I don't know right, if they're right. making more money out of it. So maybe possibly. Well, uh, have you have you played them in front of both? Mm-hmm. A fall away Celtic fan and then the seven hundred. Could you notice a difference? Oh, I definitely aye. And like I said, I think if every player had a decision that would go back to the the eight thousand allocation, no doubt about it. Remember years ago, was it? Oh God, a long, long time ago, when Celtic went to Ibrox and couldn't take any fans, and was it John Collins scored? Free kick over the wall or something that was like 30 years ago, but that was that was something to do with crowd violence. Didn't set up, didn't he? After he scored, the that didn't set up, so it was strange. And you remember listening to that on the radio, and it was like goal for Celtic, and that was it. Wasn't he fucking nah, it was silence. nothing? And you're yeah. like, this is shit. That's football's not the old saying, oh, football's no, nothing about fans, fans, but it's like we just flung that in. We've got, like we've got, like, we, like you say, we've got the best like derby in the world in your league. I'm a fucking no showcasing it the way we should be. I know. It's I seen a thing in the other day that's shot when I've got the it's best. Just Per, per like, uh, fan base, per, per capita, aye, aye, in the per world. town, in the world, aye. That's some good, that. So yeah. even when you think like, Livy only get a thousand people, the population of Livingston, are right, many are actually going. Uh-huh. The rest of them are at the outlet, innit? The rest of them are at the outlet. <laughs> 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 are you ever in the squad for a Rangers game, man? Nah, nah you weren't. No, right. mate, that was... Point no, no, no. <laughs> No, I, was going, going to ask I was going to ask you, were you ever one of the wee ball boys behind the goal? Okay. Seriously? I used to do it all the time, loved oh, it. Been Martin only went mental at me because I was sitting on my phone one time. <laughs> ball boy, and the ball, 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 ball was sitting next to us and I was on my phone. He went, do you know what? That's, that's some of my earliest memories at uh, old firm games, especially ball at Celtic Park. Jump see friends of score. <laughs> see friends of score. <laughs> see that ball boys are bitten and bitten <laughs> things like that. Whereas if, if Celtic score, mean, the, the ball boys are going after him behind the goal. I done the game last and chipped close. Oh, did you? Uh, brilliant. Was behind the goal? No, it wasn't behind the goal. That was my first ever old firm game. First ever old fun game, I was 20 years old, I think 19 maybe. That was class. Boys used to turn up at 10 o'clock in the morning, mate, just to get behind the goal. I thought it was first ones there got behind the goal, mate. The boys are at 10 o'clock. If, if Celtic scored, they would always like, jump up and hug each other. Uh, but I don't know if th- you remember the one where I think it was, it was Rod Wallace or Brian Loudrop scored at Celtic Park, and one of the boys actually went right into the goal and volleyed <laughs> the ball. <laughs> Do you remember that? No, they didn't. Know. <laughs> But were you ever a ball boy now? No, I didn't. I was too old when I went to Celtic to be a ball boy. You were a ball boy in 22. 22 years old. Big buddy. <laughs> do you think, do you think, seriously, do you think you have the same feeling as me and him? Because you'd be a Glasgow boy for certain things. Do you think people would be done to you? No, you don't, do nah, you? Know, you know, I, no, I don't. That's no, exactly. I, I don't, don't either. either. Like, I think it's hard for you to listen to you as we Aye, because. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'll be honest with you, I can, like, I can take it or leave it. But Paul, you know, Paul, uh, my wee boy Tom says to me this morning, Dad. Because we're watching the Rangers Motherwell highlights this morning, and they actually said, that, I was at that game. I said, No, that was when you were at Christmas. When are you going to take me to the next Rangers game? And I'm sitting there thinking, I need to go to Ibrox and take oh, him to I the game. Know. And so, and then the other two is like, When are we going to a Celtic game? And I'm like, Fucking going like this. Don't you get, how do you think you get treated? See if you walked in at Ibrox? I can't be bored how I get treated. At no, but how do you, no, but do you think you would? I ain't been alright, wouldn't you? Oh, I don't need for him. <laughs> 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 Surely they'll take you well. You don't really well. No, listen, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, Why do you I don't mind. mind, it's no problem. Look at me, he's a bit the wee man. He, uh, he's a horse ranger, he went to see fucking Tammany. So that's you what we're doing. I'll go watch him. It's team four. You get treated well, mate. I'll uh, be I'll be I'm no first, I'm not that first. I have covered Hearts Aberdeen, but do you want to go out again? Yeah, else you want to add to that no, no, fucking no, monstrosity no. now? I'll do. Right, you're good, Dan. You want to say it to Gorgie Faithful now? I don't apologise for that. Bottom of the table. You back good in there? No, I'm saying get your butt. No, get your butt on the table. <laughs> Put your ass on the table. Go. Just to where the segment goes. Just stick your ass on the table. <laughs> Talk to the camera, Mars. Yeah. <laughs> hey, well, I wasn't much movement. On your ass. No, I wasn't much movement. Didn't, nah. didn't below. The only one that would. Um, was yeah. that moving at the weekend? Nah, I fucking made it. Ross County, Ross County, obviously getting beat. <laughs> Right, can we get a ticket? Go on, take it away, Jeff. Obviously, Ross County's lost ground getting beat. You've done greater Rangers by it, you're probably. <laughs> so, oh, the bottom oh, of the table. Oh, some fucking performances oh, there. Oh, my aye. Fucking hell. The D-United, we'll go with them first. They needed to win massively because they're at home. Won that up. They uh, had chances, but so did they. Uh, forgot who they were even fucking playing. Um, so did St. Mum. But um, <laughs> penalty-wise, never a penalty. No, yeah. it, it is a penalty. <laughs> but the, 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 it, it, that, listen, sorry, you got me under pressure here. It was 100% a penalty, but a bit like Starfelt. Closest thing I've seen to some of your Rangers performances that... Uh, <laughs> a bit like Starfelt, why are you tackling where you're tackling when there's no danger? Why is the defender going and pushing... Is it Curtis Main, I think it was? Uh-huh. There's no need for that. You're just getting... As a manager, it must be so frustrating. Right? Uh, Dundee and they've actually played well in the, in, in the game since um, Jim Goodens came in as well, but... Tell me about Fletcher's goal. Fletcher's finish, touch and finish. He is a... 
Mate, he's I, I honestly think, see if he left Dundee in the summer, I, I think Hearts, Aberdeen should take, him. should take him. How old is he? 48. Mm-hmm. Nah, he's not year older than me. He'll be 35. 35, 36. Uh-huh. He's but still, is he still a threat, isn't he? Aye. Uh-huh. He could keep Dundee United up. He could, but he kind of do it himself. But you need to be winning home games, mate. Uh-huh. Aye, that's it. Ultimately, you need to be winning the home games, but you're not helping yourself. I look at these penalty situations, you're so desperate to win a ball. The guy's running away with a goal. Is that just pressure of being down the bottom? The decision, your decision making just goes nerves. Maybe just giving away so many cheap goals right in every time. Even the one that even the one that um, got disallowed for offside, like that's fractions in terms of like a couple of inches all the way. You should have the lines at Should have the dildo. Should have the dildo. Then you get the dildo up to Tannadice. But um, they're not scoring. No, there's a dildo. Not, 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 not. <laughs> Fletcher scored, but they're not scoring enough goals. He can't do the line. Not enough in for two dildos at this place. They're not scoring enough goals ultimately. Um, <laughs> Come on, let you find yourselves unlucky. Uh-huh. <laughs> this is giving me flashbacks to the English Premier League podcast. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. That was, some, that was some podcast, that. Oh. Where does the batteries go in? Seriously. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> hey, sorry, bottom of the table, uh, Kelly. Oh, oh my man. It's that bag, I've taken the piss out of the bottom of the table. No, no, it's a fucking great day. No, 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 I know. So I saw the Derek, handball is incredible. I saw Derek McInnes' comments and uh, he's got every right to be. Ah, what's your thoughts on that? Did you see Derek McInnes' comments? Did he say? Came for, came for Ange. Came did for Ange, aye. What did oh. he say? Just said, I'd like to see Ange's, um, what we get dealt with every week compared to what they get dealt with every week. Something along the lines. He said something like, aye. Something like, aye. Oh, other managers complaining about VR, but we've had Zilt Shaw season or something like that. Damn, down Del fuck. <laughs> nah, he's right. He might be like that. <laughs> <laughs> that is a terrible decision. What ah, a shit, man. Fuck, man. I don't know what that boy. Where, where's he supposed to go? What's he supposed to do? Mate, the, the, Somebody's heated the ball. Here's another thing. Oh, no, right. See the bar thing? So somebody's sitting in a studio watching that. Is that right? In a van, mate. Uh, in a van. In a van. Oh, no, seriously, where is it? They're on the M77 in a van. <laughs> Pretend to be a speed camera. I'm is sure. There there a, is there a toilet in it? Or do they need to piss you outside? <laughs> what happens if they're watching the game and need a piss? You can't pause the game, can you? No. But it's a bit like that. Anyway, so that rest five yards for that, and they're sitting in a studio, and they, 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 they've pulled it up. Aye. The Vassell one? Aye, so they've said to the, uh, the ref, where well, you Check go to the bonnet and have a look at it. He stood and seen it. I know. But, but see, regardless, right, see, th- th- this is what I've said, see, for a ref, see if you're going to the monitor, have I, just say, I, I've looked at it, I've, I, I still don't think it's a penalty. It's like every time you go to the monitor, it's, 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 it's like you need to change it. Huh? it but the, the constant one, is, it's worse because VAR's no seen that. Because maybe the ref can miss that, but how has VAR missed Aye. that? Like, yeah. you, you've seen three replays, you've seen Andy Constantine waving at somebody at the crowd and on bonnet. Like, you've got to see that, no? What's that sketch on one of the TV shows where the guys in the, the, the plane tower landing planes and they're closing each other's eyes, they're doing blind The airplane, is it? Is it's not, I think it might be like a Scottish one, it might be like still... Hailing pace or something, uh-huh. They're going to covering each other's eyes as the planes are landing, just joking. That's what they're doing in VAR. Uh-huh. They're watching the games and then they're fucking covering each other's eyes. <laughs> <laughs> like you're 30 minutes, two minutes. <laughs> it's fucking horrific. They need to sort it out because it isn't it? It's, no, it's good. no good enough. I just think, I don't think it's VAR's the problem. Did you get rid of it? I, think, I, th- I don't think VAR's the problem. I just think it's the people running VAR. Mm. They had shit referees. We've always had shit referees. And the shit referees are now in the fucking vans. So the shit results are still going to be the same shit results. That's just ultimately how it is. Wow. That's how it is. I don't care what anybody says. You tell me any yeah, different. I wonder, you wonder why we carry a decision on a Saturday. Brilliant. <laughs> I, mean, you, you have I went up to the ref after him and ref, we were fucking terrible, David. you're the only person that pitch was worse than us. <laughs> That's what I said to him. He went, you, he went, thanks very much, Simon. Oh man, we're moving on to Scotland. Do you want to move on to Scotland? Aye. Oh, fuck it, aye, because the bottom of the table. Oh, bottom of the table. Aye, but great news, mate. Angus Gunn switched licenses. <laughs> I'm a buzz with that. <laughs> fucking slow news day, innit? Angus Gunn switched the lines. I, what is he, Norwich goalie? Mm-hmm. They're, they're really good Norwich, aren't they? They're flying under Dean Smith. Is it still Dean Smith? <laughs> no. Dean Smith, sorry. Um, it's a guy who was a Huddersfield German guy. Uh, I think he might play. I think, I, 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 I'm not just saying this because he's my teammate. I think it's Andrew play. Do you? Aye. I do. Do you I think he's, I think he's done very well. Uh, I think he might go with Gunn. What I, I want to know is, right, 
Do you like that? Do you like the idea of no. coming though when what, he's what, in Scotland right, and tweets so, so what I want to know is, no, how, is it, how is it your Scottish? Know, your, dad, your dad, he's played for Scotland himself. Brian Gunn. How is it you Is that his dad? Brian Gunn, that was an Orange manager. He was a good manager. He didn't, how didn't do you, really how do you bring your kid up? I don't know how my slagging managers, mate. What the fuck? <laughs> how do you bring your kid up playing want to play for England if you're Scottish? I used to, I mean I don't know if they, I mean, they grew up there, but I don't like the fact that he's mocking Scotland on he, he never tweets. mocked it, he liked to tweet somebody mocking Same Scotland. What fuck. was the tweet? Do you know do you know that? Hey, something about Betty uh, Votes, you and Betty Votes didn't say <laughs> yeah, something to do with, aye. I don't like it, but boys, honestly, I don't, I don't think if you're slagging Scotland or whatever, I don't think then you've got, that to me is if you just try to bet his better career. Better his career, I have a degree. No daft there. You yeah. can tell we've all had shite results that we can't get, you can't yeah. just fucking get it. It's coming for everyone. Well, well, I've I've got, have you ever had, some, I got pulled up for the Swindon chairman, mate, when I first started Twitter. Aye. I, have, I used to write like, about my dad, like, wild things about my dad and what. Then they pulled me in the office like, what the fuck's wrong with you, man? Uh, I got told to I had to come off to it. It's funny. I, I think we we're getting relegated as well. And I was writing that was playing like naked tiggle with Dar or something. And the chairman, I remember he was like, he actually brought the tweets up and he was like, "There's something, something wrong with you." The best ever was remember when Rooney just tweeted you went after one of it, just never tagged anyone. <laughs> who's the one with the, who's the one with the meatballs? The one Yama. Uh, I had spaghetti, spaghetti tonight. It was nice. <laughs> That's incredible. Well, Lynn pulls me up with tweets now. Sometimes to hit delete a few because she's like, "What are you like now?" I've seen you. I've seen you retract a few tweets. <laughs> tweeting and <laughs> deleting. Oh, that old man. Tweet and delete. Tweet and delete. <laughs> Wait, you don't. Sometimes that never happens. After that, a few times, you, you, don't, you, get, love, you don't get the reaction you want. I'd like yeah. love if Twitter was about when you were playing. Oh man! You, uh, how funny would TV be tweeting I after? Don't don't know, give it a I was, when I was with Rangers, I had Twitter. You done well, haven't you? <laughs> I, I got a tweet that went fucking viral for something. What was Slag, that? Slagging off the United fans. Quite, quite, quite up quite the funny. fans. I think I actually made front page of the paper. Did I? How what did you say? I don't know. Some was slagging me off and I says, here pal, I've got me a fucking tweet. I thought what your team's got in the way Saturday afternoon. And it was just something. And then I ended up in a big mad argument and I just went with it. But then you deleted it. Then deleted it. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't go on it anymore. You can't see anything. You can only imagine what we're getting said about us on there. Uh, What's happening here? I had a good moment to it, didn't I? That's that oh, fucking dumb. Crack moment I had into it. <laughs> 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 what did he say? We said, that was where that all came to hit him on Twitter. I had a cracking day in Twitter. That's right. Aye. Oh, mate. You did have a great day in Twitter. <laughs> have, you had to, have you got Twitter? No, no. I did have it. He did have it. I did well in that. <laughs> Put a couple of pictures up. I knew what I was doing in that. <laughs> you had a bald day at the time, I remember. Bald day, aye. Looking well. Arse and bald. It was hard to tell the difference between your, your face and your arse on that. That picture. Ah <laughs> uh, no, I, listen. See, see, see. For social media and Twitter, I, I would see any. any Where to come after? I would. I mean, as much as we don't like this sort of I mean, after games and all that, these uh, apologies. Or, or it, it does look like it's a media team doing it for a player. Like you're like fuck it. But do you know what? I, I would if I was a player, I would say to somebody just date for me. Keep, keep why? Your why would you even have it? Stay away from that shit. I'm getting your hate. People say I don't care. It will. It will affect your hate. It's you that's doing it. What's the point in even having it? Do you need it for the right there? I don't know, I, I, again, I don't know, maybe it's for the brands and all that, they need mm. to spot the spot. I don't know, but I, for any player, stay away for that nonsense. Aye. Well, it's a lot of rubbish. So really if you is. were, if you were... Um, leave you out, that by the way. If you were, what do you call what? him? Leave you out. You like telling that picture? <laughs> 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 if you were, if you were Angus Gunn, no Angus Gunn, the two other boys, Scott, Liam Kelly and Xander, if Angus Gunn comes up and starts, would you be raging? I think so, yeah. Listen to the radio and Saturday to the old mics. And fucking thing, it'd be Liam Kelly let that free kick in. And Hugh fucking Keevan says that's done his chances for Scotland, no harm. He will be there this week, but he will not be playing after that mistake. I think you should have done better with that free kick. Ah, you should have done better, but it's no fucking the end of the world. <laughs> I know, mate. It's not he dropped the bottle. Uh, don't Keevans. you be talking about your I know. Tell Hugh to fucking shut up. Man. He's, hopeless. <laughs> he's fucking hopeless. I think he's him a wage. People do say the same thing about. No, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> what they'll get from me is a. <laughs> He's all in the day, I love it. How's the national team shaping up? Oh, I'd love to see Lewis Ferguson play just because his dad is a I fucking hero. I a chance, hero. mate. His dad is genuinely my favourite person. What's your Scotland line up? Scotland line up. 3-5, what are we going? 3-5, what are we going? 4-3-3, I'd go. 4-3-3? No, I won't, though. No, well, what, you think he'll do? He'll fit. So Tierney played at the weekend, come on for... Tierney set up, didn't he? Aye, uh, Tierney come on, played about. So that's got him, he start. I think Andy Zan Robertson. Xander, Robertson, Tierney. Hickey. Hanley. Hickey right back. Because Nathan Parsons not really been fit, is he? No. Playing. Mm. Potentially Hickey. Who's the other centre back? Cooper. 
I think he would. Cooper. That's Jack, that's Jack Henry. What about the rest Jack of the league? Henry. Wolves game. See that? Never seen it. No. Oh, bad. Oh my God, mate. Same with the VAR. No, Wolves manager was going off, isn't it? What, what about the, Fulham yesterday? Mitrovic. 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 They're going to chuck the ball. Man, 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 man. Getting beat one 0 had to deal with that. Mate, Fulham are unbelievable. Though. Brilliant, mate. Uh, Fulham are a good team, aren't they? Yep. Uh, sorry, and you go with your team. Uh, I'm sure, mate, gee, just to correct you here, I'm sure Clark changed for a feet at the back and she went for a, a four. That's what he said. He, I think he's put you a, a four. I know, I, th- I think they'll go with a three. Three in Spain. I'm sure, but he did change. Did he no change recently and, and, and scrapped the feet at the back? Am I right in saying that? I tell you what, see if they go a, a four against Spain, fair play. Mm-hmm. Have a go. I could be right there, I don't know why that's been. Sorry, you do your team, mate. scored, the, scored, the, scored the weekend, weekend, so that's good news. Dykes has not been fit for yeah, a while, but Dykes. he's in the squad. All right. Shanklin did it? No, no, Shanklin yes. Dorn has been never got picked. Ah, I can understand this, but Shanklin's know, but fucking flying now. 24, 24 goals or something, he's not getting the Scotland squad. Tarts in it. Do you know what, I, 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 like, I don't like, what, how is Jacob Brown getting in the Scotland squad playing for I, I See, the thing is, I've generally never seen him play. Same I know. Peter Ed, I couldn't, like, <laughs> <laughs> all the Browns there. I fucking don't even know who he is. I don't know what he looks like, but every every time a squad gets picked, this Jacob Brown seems to make the squads. <laughs> nah. I've had yeah, him. Like, say, Stoke. Is Jacob Brown? He's with Stoke. Is he good? Oh, well, we must Stoke be. Stoke are doing well, isn't it? I think they're 18th in the Champions League. Ah. Right? So. <laughs> he must be because we've all heard him. <laughs> ah, he is creeping out every squad now, every isn't he? Every squad, and I'm thinking, like, you've got a guy. I think John Carver, right? He's rooms with John Carver. Well, Shackland scored 20 odd goals and can he get in? Uh, strange, that. Yeah. I'd be, but obviously I'm biased, but I'm surprised that Shanks isn't in it. I'll tell you who should be in it, Nicky Devlin, mate. See, oh, right, we're on to Con- uh, Antonio Contes. <laughs> hey, do you genuinely think that I had? Aye, mate. Because Parkinson's good at the weekend. And he's been, he's been flying. Aye, he's been good. Consistent performer. He's an amazing at weekend performer. And I think, I mean, I think he'll be away for him in the summer. Is that a contract? I don't think they'll be able to. Smith retired. Smith retired. That's a good shout, by the way. Good shout. Michael Smith. Carbody fame, Michael Smith's had a good career with Hearts, but he's he's aging, isn't he? What age is he? About 30, what? Ah, he's older than Michael Smith. 34? Is he? You when know you would sign him, you would you you couldn't have for, you couldn't sign a better player. Always he's fit. energy. He's, great he's, finish at the weekend. He's excellent, great Nick. Brilliant mate, brilliant captain. Um, Good defender, isn't he? Great defender, great going forward. If Ralston goes then. <laughs> uh huh. Take him to Celtic. No problem. <laughs> could he play inverted to fullback? Nah. Right. No, but he could get him a bank. Hearts, you could be right there, say. It's a good shout. Hearts, Aberdeen or something like that, and he could go and play for him. So is this the Euros? Actually, is this the Euros we've got? Aye. Aye. Is it aye? It's not that Nations League, no. Will we beat Spain? I don't think we'll beat Spain, but if we can get if we can get if we can get something in the draw, we'd be we handy and beat Cyprus, that'd be a good start to the campaign. We're never great at starting the campaigns, I don't think well, we always start slow, so hopefully we can get off to a flyer this time, but hopefully we can get there and we can do another twenty two night show at the Ace Come <laughs> that was good, that you can tell the Barry Barry story again. Twenty two times. Can't even. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that haunts me, man. I don't think it's a chance. I don't know beat Spain. Remember that? What were we thinking? Twenty to turn it off. Oh. But see, to be fair, like what Rudiger's done well since he went to Real Madrid. Eh? Remember that argument? Yeah, good. He's done really well. Barca last I night. Two one Barca. Fair wins last night. Rudiger's well better, man. City. That's Stones. That's right. why they're shite this year. Rudiger's Real Madrid. Got to win the Champions League. No getting a game. Look at that. Alright. Did you watch your Clasico last night? I didn't watch it, but, but I, um, I heard the highlights. What was the score? Two one Barca. Barca. Hasn't won a league. Last minute. <laughs> but then Perez is the Perez is got uh, that Barca was cheating year, a few a few years ago, paying refs and they're gonna get looks Fucked like they could get fucked at the leagues. No way. So yeah, it's gone out the, the news so the world's on Barcelona right. now. What? Aye, aye. So that was all a myth? The other Barcelona teams the past? No, I think it was I, I think it was even see the leagues that were actually losing. But they've said there's games where so they the refs still lose the league. No, they paint get to win games, but I mean over the world obviously no doing every spent. game. I know. And then but now he the but then suppose the Barcelona community is a lot of rubbish, but there's a big case going on the new bit. Mm, well, wow. We Spanish correspondent of a Aye. <laughs> <laughs> game the fuck are you reading Gazette de la Sport? We game Balagan. You should get Graham Hunter on. Uh-huh. Shoot me. Game should yeah. they have double get them on the wee podcast? Um, and we g- game. Shoot me. Get yeah, on that. Game and uh, Graham Hunter to talk about fucking Bones and fucking Spartans. <laughs> How good was uh, Antonio Conte after I'm the game? I've not seen it. Unreal. Like, Did you like it? Was it brilliant? It, oh, unbelievable. He's just, just pulling every day up, mate. He proper he's not comes for that boy. Uh, he's choking for a sack. Like he's owner. Twenty years they win nothing. Have <laughs> they? <laughs> One trophy. Why? Why? But why? But he actually says, he actually says, I look at the managers that have been here before, still can't even win it. Why? Oh. Mate, he's, he's, he is short for a second. Ah, right? He's wanting to pay up. He's definitely wanting to pay up, but he's, he's right. He is right. Like Tottenham, the stadium they have. But see, to be fair, he's probably been backed more than any other Tottenham manager. Mm-hmm. 
Ah, mate, the sign the boy for Brighton or not? In the summer, I see people saying they've not spent any money. They've spent a fortune. Charleston as well. Charleston, Some of the players on their teams are rubbish. Emerson Noel. Mate, Dot, he's Dot, Dot, he's about to play. Dot. the boy Pedro Polo for about 15 minutes. Uh-huh. He's good, isn't he? He's got the weekend. Eric Dyer, that's still playing, but uh-huh. Ben Davis. Ben Davis, uh-huh. Oh, fuck. Who was the one that signed the rules? No, but uh, somebody got a move. Who got a move to Atletico Madrid? Madrid. Oh, Matt Dotty got a move to Atletico Madrid, mate. He was on the shelf. Have you seen what Hibs? Aye. Hibs, weren't he, aye? I mean, that's nuts, isn't it? Nah, it's crazy. How would you react? You came for the players as well? Any individual players or just, a whole, just the players as a whole? Weak. Ah, he weak says it. Uh, but see, see on Tottenham's probably performance and the way their season's going, if you're going back into the manager to argue that, I think you've really got an argument because he's probably right. Uh-huh. I mean, but then again, you look at, he's saying about, the, he's saying about um, the mentality and stuff. Well, there's a chance to beat Sheffield United to get into the fucking quarter-final or the semi-final or something of the FA Cup. Uh-huh. They played a weak inside, so let's have a look at you. Good. She's well, right? Good. Right. <laughs> like, how many transfer requests has Harry Kane put in? <laughs> Generally, right, like, Tottenham fans cane him for it's all like his time. tweets, in it? He puts them in and just deletes them. It's kept going for Harry sake. Kane's got to leave, man. Oh, yeah, no, got where does he go? Leave. Does he go? Chelsea or Man, man U? Man U. Man U did a strike man badly. Man U did a strike badly. That kills me watching that fucking Martin Vicos playing up front. Oh, right. 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 Oh, oh, my. Where is he? That Connie thing just reminded me so much of the canny of him, did he do that? Uh, that I was what he was like. I remember he hooked me. At, remember the Carlisle game I told you? When somebody was out in their garden watching a stay in shape and he went and told them to go and sit in their house because they were a spy for Carlisle. He thought they were a spy. <laughs> this old guy about 65, pushed in jeans. In your house, you'll tell Carlisle what we're playing tomorrow. That day, he took me off 60 minutes. So I went to Conte, I came off. He, he would never ever, see if he took you off, mate, he'd always say something to you. He would never just be going sit on the bench. He would come for you straight away. So I remember I came off, he looked at me and went, You're crazy. And I was on the bench and I was like, ah, what? And he went, you are crazy. And I was like, all right, I have it. I know shit. And he went, no, no, no shit. <laughs> and I went, no. And he went, no, very shit. <laughs> very shit. And then, you see, when, see, at the start of that season, he called the dugout at Swindon. The bit, I, I, was in a, I was in a huff because I was on the bench the first six games. So I used to sit with my, my shoulder to the glass. I'd sit and no, like, watch a game. So he called it the Simon Ferry seat. So that day at Carlisle, he goes, no, very shit. And then I was like, uh, right. And he goes, but why are you sad? Like that Conte <laughs> thing. But why are you, this is where the game's going on, mate. But why are you sad? <laughs> You'll be back on the Simon Ferry seat next week. You should be happy. <laughs> <laughs> Incredible. But a proper rant, mate, while the game's going on. I it just reminded it. me. So it's even the way he spoke after, like the way that Aye. tone and everything. That was the canny mate. That Italian accent. Oh, but I'm, why? I'm trying to think of any other manager rants who have came out. Have I told you about the time we told the Swindon fans to come to the county ground and you'll give them their money back? I we got we were top of the league or something and we got booed off it. I think we drew with the fans are booing. And he went on camera and he was like, These fans boo me, my team. <laughs> 24th in the league last season, shit. He's like, if you are not happy, you come to the county ground, I give you your money back. Go and watch Oxford, who were our rivals, mate. You can YouTube it. Incredible, man. His rants were incredible, mate. I love it. Do you remember, I don't know if you remember when uh, when Gerard was the manager at Rangers and we were playing Spartak and uh, you know League and Conor Golson scored that one goal when the ball came in for Spartak's right hand side so it was on for him to clear it with his left and he went to clear it with his side and his right and scored an own goal Gerard said in the post match interview he said something like I mean I've got set the halves that kind of clear the ball with, with more feet <laughs> <laughs> man, I'm reading Steve Stephen Gerrard saying that about you. Oh, the canny was prison. ruthless, mate. I remember he called uh, Aidan Flint. Uh, this was on. We, we used to go on the bus in the away games, especially, mate, and the BBC Walt show would be on the radio. So you would get to hear his interview. The bus driver was obviously a massive Swindon fan, so he'd have the radio on when you went on the bus. The canny would take ages, mate, and we'd go on the bus, be waiting for him, and he'd be doing his post match interview so you could listen to it. I remember we were playing somebody away, and he was like, Aidan Flint is a six foot three bunny rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he called him, a six foot three bunny rabbit. Mate, you would see if you're a player, mate, you would look at a funny mate, he'd be sitting like, ah, fuck's sake, man. As a player, you just, you just, you just, you just need to take it, though, aren't you? Just you just need to take it. Nah. He'd punch fuck it, you just need to take it. I know, no, I don't, I don't I, speak about it all the time, but how has he never got back in at a job? Need to get him back in, mate. See if, uh, if he was in the Scottish game and you could add it, it would be incredible for us. Would, 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 would he ever come back getting your Six foot three bunny rabbit, I think man. he was. He's maybe, he's maybe, maybe at that point in his life he's probably just fucking enjoying he it. He does Sky Italy, doesn't he? Oh, does he? Uh, there's one, there's a manager, mate, there's one, in, I'm sure in Scotland that happened with a manager. What? Came out and came to players. 
can't remember what it was. It's the, I'm sure Stephen Robinson kind of did it last year. Was it mum? At the end. I don't mind it as a, I don't mind, oh, I genuinely don't mind it. Eh? See if you've been shite and he goes out and say you're shite. Do you know who's done it recently, but he's done it tactically, Guardiola. Uh, when he's he said about their mentality, mentality and all that. he came out and said no, the Bruyne's not himself and all that. He's and he came chains out. of Man City fans, didn't he? Nah, uh, yeah, shocking. Chains of fans. Quite yeah. right, mate. Uh, I remember that game they booed uh, them be the, well. What be the, the fuck are you doing booing him, man? I don't know if you've seen the clip against, they're playing Leipzig in a Champions League quarter-final. Last 16, last last week when Haran scores and it pans to the, the Man City fans, they're just like, ah, it's like a bowling club, mate. <laughs> like, ah. oh, no. <laughs> it's one of the worst things I've ever seen. Mate, but, yeah. have, you, have you, have a manager ever kenned you publicly? Um, I don't think so. But, yeah. I, I, see if they can you in the dressing room, I don't care if they then go out and can you, but see if they don't say anything to you in the dressing room in front of all the boys, but then they come out and say something yeah. in the media, then that's shit, innit? Uh, that's yeah, yeah, you've got right to be right. Yeah, I don't mean right. At the end of the day, you're the one as a manager that's going to lose your job before the fucking players lose their job. So, I, but, but I the, the, the good thing about that, Conti's, I know, it was, but it was mere coming for like no, no. the board. Very rare, very, very rare you see them. Very rare you'll see like you'll see managers talk about we maybe don't have the finance or something. It's like a subtle dig in terms of, but he's actually went full tonto and they called it fucking Daniel Levy Conto. and said, aye. And like, what they'll end up happening now we talk to them is, they'll probably sack him in the summer and they'll bring fucking Pochettino back in who won fuck all as well. Mm. It, I, I mean, how good's the managers that they've had? Uh, the managers have had a joke. Mar 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 Pochettino. Mar Mar <laughs> Was it He's like, like a taxi driver, didn't he? Big so Glasgow Mario. taxi driver. Who else? I'm sorry, Pochettino. you are a taxi driver. Dennis Boas. <laughs> <laughs> didn't worry about it, mate. Dennis Boas. That, that, that Espirito Santo, the he world manager it. before. The one with the Wolves, what was he? Terry Venables. Terry Venables. Harry Rednap. Glenn Hoddle. Right, we've got Pish. Crap, all the managers. That will be Pochettino, won't it? Chris Hutton. He was good, didn't he? Oh, Ryan Mason done well. Remember Ryan Mason got him? Some player. I didn't know what player he was. Was he? Uh, great player. Watched his, uh, watched his media documentary go. about how one moment in football can change your life. Quite mm. good. Uh -huh. good. Quite good. Proper nice. player. I watched that fucking documentary that you recommend on Netflix. Pish! The one? The one with the one? missing plane? Oh, oh yeah. Oh, pish. Oh, yeah. Pish. Fucking turned off every pish 10 minutes. Way. Any chance he's known what happened to the plane? But we don't know, so that's why we're all getting looking into it and all that. I've got Who, my... Wait, we're all looking into it? What are you looking into? <laughs> Do you know, see the Facebook group it started? <laughs> you started a Facebook group? Is it Facebook start? It, it already started with Worldwide, so I'm into that now. And, you, and you're on the Facebook? So and what, what's all the conspiracies? What so if you see any hints, you put it into Do you know what's quite good? There's another one on Netflix about the... Have you seen the... The Wild and Axe Hitchhiker or something it's called? Is that good? I have not oh, seen it, Watch that, that's funny. I love it, I love watching I'm watching, watching Narcos. I've that, watched that. It's good, isn't it? I started Happy I Valley, started, actually. Happy Valley, brilliant. Oh, fuck, I'd put you to sleep. That's a long fuck. I'm trying to warm you up. I'm a. Fuck me, man. Lynn, watched, Lynn started watching Man last night about uh, the story of Is that the one that she was with the plumber no, coming in to fix story, that? The story of Pornhub? <laughs> <laughs> of course she did. <laughs> Decent. <laughs> and, did she, and did you watch it with her? Aye. The kids, sir? No, they're not bad. What end of the heart? How did it end? Straight to sleep. Up fresh this morning. <laughs> I love she it. hates it because our fucking upset. friends listening to the show and then they send her Who's her friends? What's her friends' names? Ah, me, Sean Keddy, has got a lot to answer for. Who? Sean. Remember Alex Keddy? Played with... Uh, oh, head misses a cracker. Sean, now she's mad uh, as a girl. She keeps sending them clips fuck, of things I said. Fuck, it's going And I'm like... Fuck Alex Sean. Keddy, he played Ross County, didn't he? <laughs> he's battling his fucking moz. I was, uh, I was on a stag do, Alex Keddy. I made Michael Gardine stag do. He's a Alex Keddy, a good guy. Really like that. That was some stag do. Who scored the most free kicks in world history football? Janine Wow, man. Why is it for Leon? Leon. I did think of that, fuck. What about Big Sheila there? He must have been close. The big goalie? The big goalie, man. He hit some free kicks. Big Sheila there. Any quiz questions for us? Any other? Quiz questions. Who's the second man in the moon? Neil Armstrong. No, he's the first. Is he? Buzz Aldrin. Buzz Aldrin. Uh, oh, like, still mate, you still know game. Sick. It's a still game question, that, isn't it? Uh, it's it's Buzz Aldrin. Were on the moon? What did I don't actually think you're a bit Mary Curry discover? What is that? <laughs> what did you say? Mary Curry. <laughs> what did Mary Curry discover? Mary Curry? <laughs> what what did Mary Curry game, discover? Mate. No, I don't know what it's still getting. I'm obsessed yeah. with space, mate. Yeah. Obsessed with space. <laughs> Genuinely, like, and, and the old bullshit we could cut me. But like, is it just... Uh, I really would agree with Paul. See, Interstellar. Interstellar's the greatest movie I've ever seen. shit. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're into space. And you fucking think Interstellar shite? Or fake, or fake. <laughs> what do you like about space then? Tell us. No, do you know what? A, a question I ask daily here, and I, and I swear on my dad's life, who'd you ask it? I don't tell a lie to myself. So, and, and, and people, 
how did Eton start, right? So people do the theory as the Big Bang, or God, right? But I don't mean that. I mean before that, how the fuck can Eton come? Like, I mean, imagine you go, like, I'm going to make a planet today. It's impossible for him to come. You can't anybody come to it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so how did it start? Uh, mad that and it. But how can like? But it's good that we are tenth in the league and this is what he's fucking thinking. About. <laughs> Every day he's sitting up thinking about. <laughs> uh, so uh, no, it's a good question, mate. Yeah, I'm obsessed with that. Like it's mental. You put dinosaurs in it. No, that's not really that bad. What? You get fucking big massive, <laughs> big massive animals are just. Nah, you're not curious about how they cute. It's only just. Nah, because you get you get animals. I get that. You believe in like aliens and big UFOs and, and stuff. You create animals. You have. How did the first animal get there? Didn't they? How did the first animal get there? Back reading dinosaurs. No, but ginger dinosaurs. How Eton came in the first place? It's fucking. Put that into your mind. How Eton came in the first place? That's crazy, mate. How Eton started? Because somebody goes like, it was that busy, but no, but how did that start? I'm an atheist, so I don't believe in God. How can a guy be up there watching her every day, mate? Come on. No, mate, but do you know what though? But he's saying that though. The world that ma- like So why is he sitting like a bar van just watching her every day? No, but it's black ba- millions of tellies, mate. Look what he's doing, look what he's doing. No, but it's bad. That's a penalty. Nah, it's baffling though, mate. <laughs> Phone the post, right? You better go check that. Oh, he's, no, un- I in there. he's unintelligent. Lads, <laughs> 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 well, it's been excellent. Well done, man. Very much, boy.